So, you know, Adam was in the, in the toilet for five hours saying, my shit, my shit, my shit, and, uh, you know. Like, yeah, and, uh, he's back in the hospital again. Apparently he was blowing the conch shell for Yom Kippur and swallowed it, and it managed to eviscerate his intestines. Three years in a row. You'd think you'd learn. You know, Especially yeah. after, after the first two. So speaking of things that could be used for toilet paper, uh, there actually wasn't really too much coming out from Marvel this week. Uh, Iron Man 6 ended the story with Ezekiel Stain. It was actually, it was pretty good. It wasn't uh, as good as I hoped it was going to be. Uh, basically ended with Tony Stark, hit it, put the little cheese down there. It basically ended with uh, Tony Stark hitting it, an EMP that affected all of Stark Industries worldwide. So he, he basically like did Stain's job for him. He, Shut down his entire company to stop people from getting killed. And you sh well, yeah, he shut down his entire company, but that doesn't mean that they can't get the circuitry working again. It's a lot. Well, better. Yeah, it's a lot better than having Stain blow everything up and having them completely start from scratch. And then, like all the Iron Man armors shut down, and all the human bombs that Stain had built shut down. Those guys died, and Tony Stark proceeds to beat the shit out of Ezekiel Stain with his bare hands. Good, 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 uh, uh, it was yeah, yeah good hour. Yeah. Good hour. Fantastic. Been really stellar so far. I just think it's a really cool uh, juxtaposition of what the situation is supposed to be because they're supposed to be these incredibly powered, you know, cybernetically powered guys or what have you, and now you just completely level the playing field and you say, all right, do get out hand to hand. Let's see who does it. And I'm, I'm sorry, but juxtaposition. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about that too. That was nice. Thank you. That's yeah. Um, so anyway, this guy, okay, Tony Stark, you know, way back when, when his uh, armor was malfunctioning and he ended up inadvertently killing a lot of people, <clears throat> had to separate from the armor, and he got to be trained by Captain America in hand-to-hand -hand combat. That was way back Not in the ages, wasn't it? Yeah. So, well, actually, and also in the Iron Man books, I, you know, back in the like, <clears throat> 70s or early 80s, whatever, I don't remember exactly, but... You're not going to get trained by anybody better than Captain America, so you knew he was just going to end up being the snot out of stain. Look at the face with a rock. Yeah! Wait, this is one part I don't get. The part after high five. What <laughs> 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 part? The quiet guy thinks he's funny all of a sudden. <laughs> so, anyway. Also out from. What did you say? Huh? What? I'm mumbling. Right. Like you stepped out of a goddamn Dick Tracy movie. Finally up from Marvel this week was uh, X-Men Original Sin one-shot, which basically continued after that Wolverine Origins uh, issue that we talked about the other week, and Wolverine finds out that Professor X is still alive, he wants to bring to Ken to uh, Emma Frost first to kind of erase his mind and give him a fresh start since he's all programmed to be a uh, killer and everything, and this is when Wolverine beats the snot out of Cyclops in a pretty cool splash page. Right there, and uh, he finds out Professor X is still alive, and he goes to the professor and basically threatens his life, and says, "If you're not going to erase to Ken's mind, then I'm going to stab you." And somewhere along the line, this brother who looks like Mr. Sinister running yeah, around. Strange. Yeah, I don't understand yeah. that. I don't know who she is. They don't really explain it. Uh, she basically yeah, kind of wakes the Ken up and mm -hmm. lets him know that your, your mind just got erased, and Logan's lying to you, this and that. You're a hired killer. Come with me. And you know. The artwork in this was really good. It's somewhat interesting. If you're a Wolverine completist, I guess go for it. But at this point, this is all going to be crossing over into uh, X Men Legacy 217, which I stopped reading months yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, and then it's going to cross back over into Wolverine Origins for 29 and 30, and you know, back to get to X Men Legacy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to deal with that. I guess uh, if I got three dollars to waste uh, when the weeks come out, then I'll. I'll go for it, but at this point, I really I can't recommend it to you just yet. I, I really got nothing else to say I, on that. I have to agree with that. I mean, I just I just personally think that there's way too much Wolverine shit going on. There really right is. There they really need to is. condense it into into one single book, and like we were talking about earlier, and possibly actually the, make it a max issue. But I'll because speak speaking of more Wolverine bullshit, they're coming out now with Weapon X First Class sometime uh, around November. Now you know these First Class stories are like all kid friendly and everything. They had X-Men First Class, which was a bunch of, you know, stories from when the X-Men, the team first formed, and they had Wolverine First Class, which was cute when it first started, and I dropped it somewhere along the lines uh, when it got a lot less interesting, just like I knew it would. And now they're going to do this three-issue mini called Weapon X First Class, which explores Professor X going into Wolverine's mind again, even though he remembers fucking everything again, but for some reason he has to go into his mind. Let's get our continuity straight here. But, uh, 
he's going into his mind and figuring out, you know, what happened during the Weapon X program and everything. So and then there's going to be like a backup story in the back with uh, Sabretooth, Deadpool, and Gambit each having their own guest appearance. And you know what? I like the idea of a Weapon X tale with Wolverine, but goddamn it, if you're going to do it, do it right. Like you were saying, Weapon X is all about <laughs> killing motherfuckers. <laughs> it's about Wolverine being a bloody, psychotic murderer. And you cannot have that in a kid-friendly, for-all-ages story. I'm sorry. Do it as a max line. Get real. Do it right. Do it right the first time, yeah. so that way people will actually be interested in buying it. Yeah. Stop worrying about entertaining 12-year-olds. They're not the market anymore. Big dummies like us are the market. Yeah, I mean, so, but, <laughs> yes, you do. And, uh, you know, Weapon X is supposed to be this black ops team. Let's try to play it like it's going to be a black ops team. Right. And show all the all the bloody, gory, dark shit that's going to happen. It's going to be like a goddamn G.I. Joe cartoon. I shoot the fucking laser beams at everybody else. Yeah, nobody's ever going to hit anybody because right. everybody's got the worst fucking name in the world. Action Comics 870, the Brainiac story concluded. Uh, in a pretty like cool it. fashion. Yeah, yeah, no, this was cool. Uh, I don't even want to spoil this for you guys, but... Obviously, Superman wins. Um, there's a really nasty, you know, page at the end where uh, no spoilers, but it looks like somebody's not going to make it through the rest of the year. We're not sure yet. Um, honestly, guys, if you haven't picked this up, go and get the back issues. Or if you if you're patient and you want to wait for the trade, fine. But this is a story you really should have read. Absolutely. Brainiac has been one of the best stories we've seen in Superman in the past couple of months. Jeff Johns obviously is can do no wrong at this point, and you know I, I just enjoy seeing Christopher Reeve in a mm -hmm. comic book at this point. Oh yeah, and you know just a really cool way that Superman turns the tables on Brainiac. Again, no spoilers, but um, there's a really nice uh, twist of the story and how creative Superman was in defeating him. So mm. um, definitely pick this up. Um, they set the table for what's going to happen to the specific character at the beginning of the story arc. So, you know, you can, you can put two and two together pretty much. And now all of this is uh, continuing in a, uh, like a two weeks, I think, in Superman New Krypton Special Number 1. Uh, it seems that everything from Action Comics to Superman to, you know, to the regular Superman title is all going to stem off of this New Krypton book. So we'll definitely have to pick that up for you and let you know if it's worthwhile or not. Hopefully Jeff John sticks around for another arc because, uh, shit, I'm enjoying his work on Superman. He's killing it. Speaking of Jeff, Green Lantern 35 completed the Secret Origin Part 7 story with uh, Sinestro and Hal Jordan basically telling off the Guardians, saying, look, we're, good. we're friends, we're going to work together, and that's that. Go shine your little blue heads. That's pretty much it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is next week, next month, we're going to see uh, the Rise of the Red Lanterns, and, no, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, the Rise of the Red Lanterns is starting next month, but it's not starting, I don't think, in Green Lantern 36. It's starting in Final Crisis, Rage of the Red Lanterns number one, which has a really sick cover of Atrocitus in his Red Lantern armor and Hal Jordan in a pool of blood. So, definitely going to look forward to that. Uh, I believe Jeff Johns is writing it. Uh, keep your fingers crossed. I hope he is. Green Lanterns, honestly probably the best book that DC's putting out at this point, and you really don't want to miss it. And if you have been missing it, you're an idiot. Don't get, the, get, get every the back issue you could possibly get. Is it won't run you that much. You can probably find them on eBay or something, because I'm going to have to do that, because I don't have all of these Green Lanterns, and I want to catch up and figure out the, there was like maybe a year or so that I missed before Sinestro Corps War started. Yep. So I want to pick up those. I'm thirsty. You're thirsty? Yeah. What do you want me to tell you? I have my Gatorade. I want something to drink. So go get something to drink, you jerk. I know, but I want to get up from the show. Oh, thanks, man. Um, what the fuck? Who is that? I have no idea. <laughs> 